What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla, what it did today, is it on the road to recovery, and what's the overall outlook going into the end of this week and also next week. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're a new viewer, welcome. Hopefully you like the content. Let's get right into the analysis. So with Tesla today, what happened? Well, when we're talking about Tesla right now, we need to talk about what happened on the overall market. The overall market saw a sell-off. So this morning, it was blood red. I mean, if you were watching the market actively today, you know what I'm talking about. It was just crazy. We had that you know initial push down, but then where did buyers show up? Right at our top of our uh, green zone right here, which is where we want them to show up because they have previously before. So that is a plus, but I don't want to see too much more selling off. Now there's only a couple more times before this level holds and eventually you know the sellers exhaust the buyers and then we head lower. But this, I mean on the bigger picture, this looks like a good dip buy. So hopefully that is intact. We do have this dip buy right here and then we can start, you know, finishing our pushing up. Now Nasdaq same scenario. It's, you know, it's looking a little weaker than the SPY, but that is okay. So let's talk about Tesla. Now, on my last Tesla video guys, I drew out this trend line right here. I mentioned we, we're getting rejected by here, and then I'd feel comfortable if we, we blast right through it. So what happened today? Unfortunately, we got rejected by that trend line again. We really tried to get past it today in the later part of the day, but unfortunately, we got that rejection. Though we did not you know, pull down as much as I thought we were going to. We still have this base right here. Um, let me zoom in, zoom in a little on this. So we have this small base right here that you don't want us getting below so tomorrow it does not need to get it below 778 so keep that in the back of your head 778 that's our little base right here where i do not want it dropping the reason behind that is you know we stayed above that a couple of times now here we stayed above it here here and today you know obviously we stayed above it so your main focus tomorrow is staying above 778 that's the first checklist so if we do that great 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 now your second concern is breaking out of this trend line this downtrend, this is why I drew this trend line so you can see that we are in a downtrend right now. Every time we push up, it's rejection. So rejection right here, rejection right here, and then today rejection. So it's clear, guys. It's clear we're in a downtrend right now. Overall, though, big picture, I mean, look at it, guys. Look at it. But right now, of course, this is what you care about is the short term right now, we're still in a downtrend. So what's our action plan tomorrow? What do we need to do or what does Tesla need to do in order for us to feel comfortable you know, going into next week? First step, breaking this trend line. If we can break it and hold above this trend line tomorrow, great. I'll feel a lot more comfortable finishing the week off even though we'll be red for the week. I'll still feel comfortable with that. Now, if we do that, then our next step, either this can happen Monday sometime next week, is getting back into our buy zone. Getting back in between 815 and 834 is where I want to see us get into. Now, if we're able to get back into that, then we can have the you know conversation of us starting to reverse and starting to go back up. But first, we need to focus on what's happening right now, and it's obvious that we are in a downtrend. Now, something I do want to note that could be concerning to some people is that we got below this low right here. So earlier this week, we were having the conversations where, I think it was right here, if I'm not mistaken, that we, we could have the conversation that we are making higher lows. So that that's an uptrend. Higher lows is an uptrend. But to, you know, this earlier this week, you know, yesterday, day before that, that scenario broke, and we can't talk about that right now. So that is alarming that we are making these um, lower lows. So that's why I mentioned that we are in a downtrend, so I'm not going to feel comfortable until we break that pattern. In order for us to do that, we have to uptrend, and then even right here, guys. So even if we got right here, then I'd feel a lot more comfortable. So really, on top of our buy zone is where I'd feel comfortable at. So we do have some ways to go. We have to look out for that. Now, we're on the four-hour time frame, guys, so let's look at the daily, see how we're looking on the daily. Daily, not much. Now let's look on the weekly. So let's look at the weekly right here. So weekly, yep. So this is the weekly time frame. Every candle represents a week. Let me delete this for you guys so you can just get a visual of how we look on the weekly. So yep. 
So we did get underneath that. So tomorrow, the week, the weekly candle is still intact. So tomorrow, what you want to see is us getting back above this low right here at 792. That's the low I was talking about previously. If we get back above that, then we should be looking fine. I don't want us getting lower because that will signal us, you know, back on this downtrend. So overall, our main focus to finish out this week is, you know, breaking that downtrend and then hopefully getting back into our buy zone. If we do that, great, awesome. We'd love to see that. Either way, thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. If you did enjoy this and you're a new viewer, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all.